is your name? Michael Yo. Uh, I've actually interviewed every single one of you. So I was a news reporter as well, so I've interviewed That's you. That's why you look familiar. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm Michael Yo. I'm 45 years old, and I'm a stand-up comedian. I love comedy so much, but I never knew I could be a stand-up comedian. I did local radio in Houston, I went to Austin, went to Miami, and I got a call to come to L.A. to do TV on E! So I all of a sudden became an entertainment news correspondent. All I did was go out and interview celebrities. Are you ready to climb? Ready. At this show, I've interviewed Howie. I've interviewed Simon. I've interviewed Heidi Klum. I interviewed Eric and Sofia Vergara on the set of Modern Family. And I love that. But when you interview celebrities, they're 100% living out their dream. And I'm sitting there going, huh, is my best life interviewing these people or going for what I want to go for? Yeah. Yeah. About two years ago, I had a long talk with my wife, and I go, look, this is not going to be easy. We're going to lose a lot of money, but I need to go after my dream. I love you guys so much. It is so good. And she goes, whatever we need to do, let's do it. I got your back. And that's what's so amazing, Mel. She has 100% she has my back. My wife is amazing and she supports me she's in the stands and oh. it's all about family and love so that's why i'm here you came to the right place that's it's right family that's right. and love here in american got talent yeah out of the four of us who did you like interviewing the most uh you simon uh, <laughs> what anyways we're very happy that you're here so i'm guessing you're gonna do some comedy i'm gonna do some stand-up for you okay so we're ready for you yeah so go ahead All right, all right. So we're all getting older. Now, if you're watching and you're 20 years old, enjoy it, but don't take it for granted. Because you can do things us older people can't do. You can go to sleep tonight, wake up in the morning, jump out of bed, and just go. No problem for all the people 35 and up like us. You ever go to bed feeling fine? And then when you wake up, it feels like somebody beat the crap out of you. <laughs> Who is beating us up in our sleep? <laughs> How do you get sore not moving? <laughs> I tell you something, 20 year olds, they love unpredictability. Ask a 20 year old what they're doing after this show. They'll be like, I don't know, but it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> but when you get older, that sounds dangerous to yeah, me. Yeah. That's like me going, that's like me going, hey, where are we going to eat? And you go, I don't know, but we're going to get food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, because when you get older, we like predictability, right? That's why we do the sleep math. Oh, you know what the sleep math is. We got to know how much sleep we're going to get before we even leave the house. You did it tonight. You're like, okay, the show starts at 8. It's going to be over around 10. I'm going to leave around 10.45. I'm going to be home around 11.30. I'll be sleeping by 12.15. My kid wakes up at 5 a.m. That's only 4 hours and 45 minutes of sleep. Man, this show better be funny. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. If you're in your 20s, enjoy it, because you can do things we can't do. Like, your bodies work all the time. My left knee is messed up right now. You know how I heard it? Walking across the streets. I was walking across the street, and my knee Beyonce'd me. It was like, bye, boy. I was like, ah! <laughs> I tell you, I'm just falling apart. Like, when you're 20, you can work out on all the machines in the gym. Everything. I'm older. I can't do that. I'm on the elliptical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing takes your man card away like an elliptical. If you don't believe me, look where they put the ellipticals. Behind the treadmill so you can watch real athletes run. <laughs> I think I look so good on this elliptical till I see myself in the mirror like this. <laughs> I'm a punk, that's what I'm saying. I'm a punk. <laughs> but if you're still confused on if you're getting old or not, here's how you really know you're getting old. When you start saying things your parents used to say to you. I checked into the hotel not too long ago. The guy at the front desk was like, good morning, Mr. Yo, how are you? I said, any day you wake up, it's a great day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, my name is Michael Yo. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.